Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to um, show you my indoor green, grow space again um, where I'm growing my Nepenthes and I wanted to do a review on my new humidifier. I've had it for a few months now so it's not like an unboxing video and these guys um, I owe them nothing so it's just um, just a, a review on honestly how I think this thing is. I had a other humidifier and it was a little bit smaller and it definitely didn't produce as much mist. I just shut the blind so you can see how the mist is actually falling on the plants, just like that. Um, and it works really, really well compared to my old one, my old small one. Now the reason I, I didn't even know my old small one wasn't working well, it was just a pain in the ass to have to every day take the jug to the sink or take the thing to the sink and fill it back up. So it would often run dry and my goal was not to find a bigger one, but was to find one that I could take a jug of water to it and fill it up while I was still running and keep it going. So there's not many out there that do that. This is a Cool Mist ultrasonic uh, humidifier and it is made by Honeywell. So there it is there. I have the box there just for reference. Now I think you can pick these up at pretty much any hardware store like Home Depot or something like that. Um, says run time on it, 36 hours. Uh, that's just like completely random because it has a dial on it, of course. And when I turn the dial, it right now is on full blast. At full blast like this, it lasts for 24 hours, tops. And there is about six liters or a gallon and a half of water in it. So it does hold quite a bit. It's actually bigger than my old humidifier, but I can run it dry just as fast. But it's because I'm putting more into the, more into the air than, um, the old one used to do so as you can see again it, it like it basically covers the um this little table here with just a blanket of mist so it's awesome i just set the curtains normally the sun shining in here but i wanted the black background or the dark background so you could kind of see the fog a little bit better so if i turn the mister down anything beyond about halfway on the dial turns it to like basically nothing so now you can see it's, it's just kind of coming out of there and it lasts a lot longer than the 36 hours. I thought 36 hours must be like it on like its lowest setting, but I've gone away for five days and come back. And if it's just on a low setting like this, it's actually still running when I get back. So that's good. Um, but it hardly produces anything. It's just like I, I, I have it running on this setting when I go away just because it's like, well, it's better than nothing running, right? So anyways, we'll turn it back up because I normally have it running at full blast there. And you can see the difference again and it's huge, it's awesome. As for my house, I have a fairly big house. Uh, I have a humidity gauge in the kitchen to read the relative humidity. It doesn't really bump up the house all that much this time of year. In the summer here in BC, it is super, super dry outside usually. Humidity is like 25 to 50% outside. So it, it um, barely bumps up the humidity in here at all, but it definitely bumps it up in this grow area. It can't help but because they're being bathed in, in fog right now, right? So anyways, um, what else does it say about it? Large to medium room size, okay, 1.25 gallons and ultrasonic mist. Now, as I say, I bought this because I can top pour, and I will show you the top pouring right now. You can see in it, maybe you can, on camera, the water level is about there. And you don't have to take it to the sink, you can just go like this. And I'm not going to put a whole jug in there, because I plan on taking that thing out anyways to show you guys what's in it. If we move a little bit closer, maybe we'll be able to do that here. Okay, so I have run into one problem with this. And it didn't happen when it was new. And this is why I waited like six weeks or two months to do this um, this update for you or this review on this humidifier. It randomly stops. You'll just be like looking at it and it'll be fine. And you'll look at it again and it won't, it'll just not be running. Now it seems to be when the um, thing is running fast, it does this more than when it's running slow. Like when I say I've gone away and turned it down, I've always come back and it's been running. So I'm not sure exactly why. But if you did want to take this to the sink, this piece just lifts out, just like that. And I'll make sure you're not zoomed in. Nope, you're not zoomed in. Maybe I shouldn't have moved you so close. But you can see a couple pieces, and now the humidifier stops because I have taken this out, and it even stands nicely. See, you can see it's standing there beside it. So 
I'm still not exactly sure what is causing it to stop. I have cleaned it. It doesn't look really all that dirty in there. But on this piece itself, it could be one of two things. There's this weird thing here that I can't figure out what it does. It fits inside. There's like a hole inside the um, big unit. And this just sits in it. And it's like a float valve maybe. And I think that actually controls the, um, the mist on the inside so it doesn't run dry with the mister on and cook itself. There's also some sort of one-way valve here. And I think sometimes it could be this one-way valve that's like sticking in. So it uses up all the water in the bottom and then this one-way valve doesn't um, allow more water to come through. Like it barely comes through. So I'm not sure if this is like wrong. Like you can see it just barely drips through right now. I would think it would be faster than that, but I don't know for sure. When it does stop, I just like take it all apart and clean the whole thing and then um, it seems to work again. We're gonna move this up. Hopefully I don't drop the camera inside the dehumidifier. There's the inside of it. So like I say, this has only been a real problem a couple times, but it's just, it's kind of annoying because I like everything to work perfectly. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. This little dot, that is that little thing that I said comes up from the bottom that the white ring sits on. This float valve here does come out and it's supposed to be what controls the, um, the one-way valve for the water. It is a big clunky float valve that barely feels like it floats. It's like so heavy, but it's supposed to come out. So, you know, I take that out and check it. And you can see there's a little bit of water in the bottom right now. So when it stops, I'm not sure if um, this water just, the float valve isn't working and it doesn't pour water into it, or if it's something different that's going on. I don't know, but now that's back in place. So the other thing I do when I take this thing apart because it's not working is I take this out and I'll set that on the box. And then you can see the actual, um, fogger disc here and I give that just a little clean with my finger and this is for the fan to blow the actual fog out and I kind of do all three of those things there and then yeah it usually starts to work again so I'm gonna put it back together and you can see it can basically do this one-handed anyways it's pretty simple but it's just annoying that it stops every once in a while so I'm gonna grab the thing put it back on It'll automatically start again. And yeah, they have this thing on here to like slow down your pouring or whatever. I don't know why, but um, half the time I don't even use it. So you just pour it in and top it up. And yeah, so it works really, really well when it's working. And I can't say I got a defective one. I just think it's like, it gets a little bit sticky somewhere. I don't know. But anyways, let's have a quick little tour of the plants too while we're here. I'm going to raise the tripod up again so you can see some stuff. So some plants have been in here from the start. I started with just like a couple plants and then um, I brought in some more and some more and some more. And then I've been kind of growing some lowland seedlings in around it as well. We won't get into the lowland seedlings too much because they're kind of um, small and not that exciting yet. My bical has stopped picturing for the summertime. Again, I think it's just too dry in here. And this window gets a lot of light and I think the tendrils are drying up, but I still got a couple pictures on it. See, there's another bical picture there. And if we look at it from above, the latest leaf was like a good leaf jump, I mean, a little leaf jump anyways, but it's quite a big plant. Um, what else do we have? If you hear scuffing, that's just my dog. He's around somewhere. Humphrey. Humphrey, come here. He scuffs when he walks. Anyways, seed growing um, Renwartiana, Mirabilis, uh, Tobaca. I like this one because it's a nice dark one right there. Let's see if we can um, zoom in a little bit. It's quite dark. Bring it a little bit closer again. Hirsuta. Big leaf jump on this guy. Huge. Ampularia. A red. Nice looking red one. What else we got? This is um, another Renwartiana from Borneo Exotics here. Doing quite well. Yeah, so there's just a few things kicking around. But um, I enjoy having just a few plants in the house to to kind of keep me 
occupied while I'm in here, and especially with the winter coming. I don't know. More might end up in here. It sucks having to go out to the greenhouse in the middle of a snowstorm to take care of your plants when you can just take care of plants in your house. But anyways, yeah, that is my grow area with my Honeywell fogger there. I think I would recommend it. And again, it seems like as long as you're keeping it clean, it kind of keeps going. It worked really well for the first little while. I'm going to open up the curtains again and um, let some light in. These plants, this is a south facing window. So they do get a lot of light when it's sunny out. Other than that, there's no supplemental lighting on here at all, but everything is growing quite well. I'm not sure if I'm going to add supplemental lighting for the winter or not yet. I didn't have any supplemental lighting last winter and um, everything grew and pictured fine. So I'm likely not going to have any this winter either. But oh yeah, the one last thing I want to show you on this, just a, a feature of it. It does, you can direct the flow a little bit. So I can head it towards the window if I want to or head it towards the camera if I want to. And yeah, kind of directs it a bit anyways. So kind of a cool feature. But yeah, anyways, I hope you like this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.